In this video, I will describe how Boost EV was used inside an autonomous driving system for DARPA's Virtual Robotics Challenge. For this task, the objective was for a humanoid robot to enter a simulated vehicle and drive down the road while avoiding obstacles. The video to the right shows the fully autonomous algorithm driving down the road at full speed while switching between a left camera view, synthetic overhead view, and a classified view. The vision subsystem used Boof CV to provide the following capabilities. Detect the ground plane, create an overhead view, classify the overhead view, and estimate the vehicle's eagle motion. The ground plane was estimated in three stages. First, compute the dense stereo disparity between the left and right eyes to find point correspondences. Ransack was then used to robustly compute the induced tomography. Then the found homography was decomposed to extract the plane's equation. On the right, um, functions or classes which were used by Boof CV are shown. Here is an image showing the view from the left and right eyes on the humanoid robot. The separation between the two eyes is only around 6 centimeters, which is much smaller than the baseline used in typical stereo systems on autonomous vehicles. This small baseline decreases the accuracy of the range estimate. Note how similar the road and buildings look in both images. The end result of dense stereo processing is shown here. The left image is a disparity image where warmer colors indicate that an object is closer to the camera. On the right is a video showing the colorized point cloud from different points of view. Disparity was computed using an implementation of Hirschmuller's 2002 paper, which reduces errors along object borders. Once the ground plane's equation is known, a synthetic overhead view can be computed. Overhead views are very useful for autonomous driving. Overhead views do not have perspective distortion, allowing for the cost of a trajectory to be found by simply overlaying its path. The overhead image is computed by picking a point on the ground and projecting it onto the camera and grabbing its color value. BoofCV now includes an optimized function for computing overhead views such as this. The scene was classified to identify traversable and untraversable regions. In this video, black represents the road, green is grass, and red is obstacle. Gray indicates unknown. Classification was performed using RGB color information alone. Offline Gaussian models were created using a labeled image. When processing the color overhead view, a chi-square value was computed for each model to determine if a pixel was a member of that set or not. Binary image ops were used to remove noise and find large clusters. Experiments were also done to see if ego motion or visual odometry could be accurately estimated using the small baseline stereo system. A few different algorithms were considered. This video shows the output from a monocular ground plane algorithm which estimates the camera motion in 2D relative to the ground plane. It was found that full 3D stereo visual odometry was more accurate since it could handle off-plane motions created when the vehicle bounced around. Visual odometry could be used to combine maps together and to provide feedback to the navigation system, ensuring that it is executing the correct trajectory. If you worked for a different team in the Virtual Robotics Challenge, you might have noticed that the robot is pinned to the vehicle in these videos. In the end, the autonomous driving system was not used due to a lack of integration time. Our team experienced significant issues getting the robot to sit in the car and not slide off as if it was on the conveyor belt. This problem was caused by a bug in the simulator that became more pronounced if your robot was configured with low dampening. Our solution to the problem was to not sit in the seat, as is shown here. First, I would like to thank DARPA for choosing to fund IHMC for this project. Then, I would like to thank IHMC for bringing me on board and allowing code developed for this project to be released as open source.